This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2001 Ford F-250 uh, Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab, uh, short bed, 7.3 liter turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It is a six-speed manual, which is, of course, getting everyone's attention immediately. Um, it's an XLT, which is cloth. It has 155,500 miles. Um, we bought this truck directly from an insurance company here in Tucson. And you'll see in the before pictures it had this really ugly flatbed on it. It was basically a smuggling flatbed that the people south of the border used. Uh, it had a false compartment and it was just a mess. So we bought a used uh, bed and put it on the truck. And then we sent the truck to Mako when we were all done with it and painted it. It's got a white Mako paint job, which is one stage paint with uh, the clear coat in the paint. Um, if you're, it actually looks really good. Um, white is a pretty safe color to paint Mako. So uh, we do a two hour inspection on these vehicles when we first get them before it went to paint. And this is what that inspection looks like. And then my little cheat sheets over here. And this is what we did to it. Got a Rotella T oil change and filter. So the right oil and filter. We got both new batteries, sway bar links. This all front end stuff. So sway bar links. It got front and rear. Uh, both front and rear shocks are new. Uh, steering stabilizer, which would be this guy right there, is new. Right there is new. Uh, let's see. Got a driver, lock cylinder, and ignition. Obviously, those were damaged when it was stolen. It got new wiper blades. It got a new fuel sender. Uh, gas gauge probably wasn't working. So, it got a new one of those. It got a new brake cable. It was probably necessary when we took off the uh, ugly flatbed that was on it. Let's see. Fuel pipe assembly and cap. That was also part of the uh, switch to a real bed. Got these gnarly tires on. Obviously, some of these tires are not very good shape, and some are in really good shape. Uh, we had these in our shed, and we just put them on it. I would say that, like that passenger rear is pretty pretty nasty, but then the front, and it looks like the looks like the passenger rear is the only bad one. You might want to just buy a used one of those or a, a new one of those, and just buy one tire for it and call it a day. Um, it also got new tail lights. And the uh, driver's side mirror is new. And it's very clean underneath the sink. When we had the bed off, we were able to uh, steam it, clean it up really good. We the steamer, we steamed the motor and everything. It's in really, really clean shape right now. I don't think this truck has been this, this clean since it was brand new. Yeah, this driver rear tire. Actually, the, both rear tires are really nasty looking tread. So, I would say that would be a really good idea to buy either two new one of these or a whole new set. Uh, the fronts on this thing are good. They're, uh, let's see, it's Wrangler, Wrangler Radar MTs. Radar, Radar MTs. And they're LT... LT 285 75 16. 285 75 16s. Wrangler Radar MT. So, although I would probably just go to a less aggressive tread pattern and call it a day. I'm going to hop in here and start it and then I'm going to open the hood, let you uh, listen to it run under the hood. Hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred sixty-four miles. I know this is a manual. I know what's going to happen with this truck. It's going to get mobbed on the, on the internet. So please be prepared to get your deposit quickly. There's a Ford stamp on the fender. Original battery. I mean, new battery. Ford stamp here. Stickers where they belong. 
there's the port stamp there and there. That obviously indicates that everything's original. On the front end, people crash them and they don't replace the report parts. That's why it's important to see those Ford stamps there. That's the inside of the driver door. They did steal the center console, so we're not going to have a center console. Most people don't really care about that. Driver window, passenger window, door locks. A little bit of a stain right there. Tilt wheel. It does have cruise. Cluster. 155,564 miles. We'll walk around to the other side. Usually I drive the vehicles in our videos, but obviously I can't drive and do a video with a manual. So Jason's gonna come on out here. And he's gonna drive it. Carpet right here. I imagine cops were probably looking for dope or something in here. All right. What do we have here for a transmission? Six speed. Six speed manual, right there. Uh, let's see. Let me go through the radio real quick. Two. Follow us on Facebook. Play. That's good. it's freezing already all right well, we're gonna do a little driving right now this is uh for low for high for high for high reverse that's definitely granny gear and that's granny gear forward now we're gonna go for low oh god yeah that would be <laughs> That's a manual. And now we're, whoa. What do you want to pull? Just about anything you want, right? Now we're gonna go back to two wheel drive and take a ride. All right, it's on a salvage title. You cannot get plates or insurance on a salvage title. So if you're gonna to come to Tucson, this is required for us to take it to motor vehicles before you get here and get what's uh, called a restored salvage title. We do that by taking it to the cops. They give it a level three inspection. We can get a restored salvage title, then we can issue you plates to drive home on, and you can get insurance, both of which are necessary. We charge $200 to do that. Um, there's a lot of time and effort involved, and sometimes a lot of waiting involved. Um, then there's a $250 dock fee. Then there is taxes. Taxes are 2% sales tax in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if your state tax rate is 3% and you come here, you're gonna pay a total of 5% taxes. That's your three plus R2. $250 dock fee, and then $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is agreed upon price. Um, we strongly suggest you add $200 and have us restore the title before it leaves. Once it's uh, in Alabama or, or Montana or wherever, um, it's a pain to ship it back for an inspection. So make sure you can get it done on your own, okay? Let's see, what else? Um, deposit. Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. But once we have a deposit, put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. All right? This thing is going to get a lot of action. We've been here, done this about, you know, well, we haven't had too many manuals, but every manual we've had, 7.3 manual that's this nice, uh, even the ones that are crappy, <laughs> go really fast. So please get your deposit in. We would hate to see you lose the truck you thought you bought because you didn't get your deposit in and somebody else did. Um, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This is the warranty speech. This vehicle is 
way out of warranty by miles and years. The guys who built this truck gave it X amount of miles and X amount of years for a reason. The reason is that they didn't know what was going to happen after those miles or years. They built it. We did not build it. If they built it and they don't know, how the heck do we know? So, there's risk involved, okay? If you don't like risk, go buy a brand new one. I don't even think they make a manual anymore, but if they did, and they, <laughs> they'd probably be well over 50 grand. But then you'd have three years of stress-free motoring, and you would have your wish for three years, and then you would owe $47,000 after that. Anyway, so, that's the reality of this. There is risk involved. It may get to you and in a week need a window motor or an ignition something or a this or a that or a, or a this knob or a radio or it could need an injector. We don't know. Okay. If you're risk averse, don't buy from us. If you're risk averse, don't buy used from anybody really, but especially from us. Right? Because there's a lot of people who can deal with this truck. Um, and any issues it's have it has because a they know it's a very unique and B They know that there's risk involved and they're gonna set some money aside in their little minds that they're saving um, For repairs in the future So it's very important that the right people buy the buy this vehicle. Okay uh, It runs great uh, If I were you I would probably either buy two matching tires for the rear the rear tires are really chunked up definitely has to have rear tires, especially if you're going to drive it anywhere home or on the interstate. The fronts are okay. Um, I would just go buy regular street 285, 75, 16s. Make sure they're LTs. Um, if you call, uh, if you get online, discounttire.com, there's one about two miles from us. We will see that they get on the vehicle. You buy them uh, over the phone. We will see that they get on the truck before you get here or before it ships out but it, the rear tires are just too, too bad to be driving down the Interstate 10. You'd probably last 50 miles before they came off and destroyed a nice paint job. So, that is uh, that. Is that. Um, I'm gonna wait until we turn here and uh, be quiet when we do that so that you guys can see it drive. Listen to it drive. Even with a bad set of off-road tires on it, that's pretty good. make sure that you watch the ad use the uh, little zoom tool on the pictures my brother's gonna take this thing out for about 50 to 70 HD pictures um, there's a little magnifying glass you can zoom in on anything you'd like to see please use that it's pretty cool um, we'll also have a, uh, a uh, scan of the title that we have and uh, when you buy it all this stuff will be scanned into uh, your uh, own uh, uh, folder that you can access at any time in the today or in the future It'll have the insurance company's title that we bought it from. Um, it'll have your title, your stuff that you signed. Everything will be saved for you. All right? Anyway, that is it. Thank you.